Hi my beauties, welcome back. Uh, this is part two of the lipstick, uh, I guess, review swatch thing. I did, last week I did the Femme lipstick in from Clean Color. And this week, well, I guess it's the same, same day. But this week's video is going to be on the Wicked Lippies from NYX. I have six of the colors. I think there's like 12. Don't quote me. I think there's 12 um, or 11. I'm not sure. But I did get six of them from Ulta.com. Um, they don't have them in their stores anymore because they are a older, older-ish product. Um, but they do also have them on NYX.com. So I got them at Ulta. I spent... Well, they're $6 each, pretty much. They're $5.99. Um, so with tax, they were about $6 each. And I got six of them, so I spent about $30 on them all together. So I am going to go from... Hopefully this will work, because these do kind of stain. And I've already got... My lips are kind of still reeling from the 11 lipsticks that I've just tried on for you guys. So hopefully this is okay. But I'm going to start with the lightest color that I have, which is Stone Cold. And it is this really pretty, it's a really pretty white silver color. Now they aren't as smooth as those other lipsticks going on, like the feeling of the actual lipstick itself isn't as of a smooth feeling. At least not for this one. This is probably my least favorite out of them all. I thought it was going to be this really pretty opaque color. And it's not. It, it's just, it's just not. So hopefully, um, make them come put on the screen. Hopefully I don't have as much, as much distractions and interruptions as the last video because that was crazy. Um, I'm now home alone for a while, so hopefully not in as many distractions. Um, but like I said, this is, it's not opaque at all. It's very translucent. You can clearly see my lips underneath it. It actually only looks like I have just a little bit of glitter on my lips. That's literally all it looks like. This would be perfect for like over a dark color. If you want just a little bit of glimmer and glam over it, then that would be perfect, but this is not okay by itself. Even with a um, concealer underneath, it's, it don't work. It just doesn't work. So that's kind of disappointing. I thought it was going to be a lot opa more opaque than it was, but that's okay. Over something would be awesome. If you put it over a red or over a black, that would be cool. Hopefully we can keep going and get this out in a lot shorter time than my last video. That one was kind of crazy long. Okay. Now I think the lightest one would be this one. Which is Scandalous. And it is a very pretty turquoise. Turquoise color. I love this one. I actually wore this out to the doctors. I wore it to a doctor's appointment just because I could. Cause I love it and it's pretty and I didn't care what anybody else thought. Or no, it wasn't a doctor's appointment. It was out to lunch with my cousin. I wore this a few days ago and then I went to Walmart afterwards so yeah I love this color I so love this color 
and it is a lot more opaque than the last one, like a lot. Obviously, you can see color. Um, it's a lot smoother than the last one. There's not there's not sparkles in it, so there's going to be a lot smoother because the other one had sparkles in it, and it was rough putting it on. Um, it feels very velvety. Feels like it would kind of come off a little easier, but that's okay. Like I said, if you set it, then, or if you put a primer on it or whatnot, it would be fine. It would totally be fine. And it doesn't stain the lips, which is nice. And it doesn't do that creasy thing that the other ones did from Clean Color, which is nice. It doesn't have a smell, which is okay. I don't really need a smell for our lipstick, so I'm not that crazy about it, but it doesn't have, it says a lipstick smell. But yeah, I love this color and it makes my skin look a lot tanner than it actually is, which is nice. When along with my hair, it makes it look more red. And coming off, it's just like one swipe and then it's, and it's pretty much gone. I have a bigger upper lip than my bottom lip, so it's like hard to get it. Okay, um, the next one probably would be this one. Can't really tell in the bottle. This one is in the shade Risqué, and it is this really, really pretty green color. I've also worn this out in public. I mean, yeah, this is pretty much what it is in person, on camera, yeah. I, yeah, I love this one. Out of all of them, this one and then the one that I'm going to do next is probably my, f my favorites out of all of them, all six of them. Very smooth, very velvety. It goes on very smoothly, very nice. It's very easy to put on and it feels really good on my lips. It feels very moisturizing which is nice. So um, that's always a plus. And very opaque. You can't see my lips underneath this at all whatsoever which is really really good for I love when a lipstick when you can't see your original color. That's the whole point of having a lipstick on. So that's always nice and I love this because this can go really well with my red hair. It goes really well with my blue eyes. It makes my skin look tan which is always nice when you don't have to actually get a tan to make yourself look tan. And since I burn that's always a plus. Um, but yeah I really like this lipstick a lot. It's one of my favorites. Definitely worth the six dollars. These are a little harder to take off, some of these are, than last time. But I guess that's good though because that means that it's a quality lipstick. Okay. Yeah. Weird faces. Mm, there you go. Okay, this is my second favorite. It's Immortal. And I have worn this many, many times. This is actually, I wore this to the movies one time a couple of weeks ago. I wore it, I think I wore it out with my friends. I, I had a girls night out and I wore this one. It's very pretty purple. Yeah, 
I love this one so much. This is more my style. This is I love the darker lipsticks lately. I've been doing them a lot. I'm not really... I have my moments where I love pink and I love the nudes and I love all this. But this dark is what I've really, really been into lately. And I think this shade is just awesome. It's just, it's just awesome. That's, that's pretty much all I can say. It's, it's just awesome. It's a very, you can very much tell that it's purple. There's no denying that it's purple. It's not too dark, but it's not too light. And it goes on very well, very velvety. Um, and again, it matches, it can go with my eyes, with blue eyes. It can go with brown eyes, probably. Red hair, brown hair, yellow hair, I, I don't know, just any... It, it can pretty much go, if you're if you're brave enough to do it, if you really want to rock purple lips, this is definitely, definitely the lipstick to do. Like I said, Immortal by NYX. It's definitely one of the best purples that I've seen on. And you know what, like I said, I've always say, if you want to rock it, rock it. Don't, don't, it don't matter what anyone else says. If you feel comfortable doing it, then do it. And I, I love this color. I will I would wear this and I have worn this out anywhere. Even if it's just to Walmart, if it's at a doctor's appointment or anywhere. Well, if you if you go to church, maybe not church. Maybe. I don't know. I wouldn't if I ever went back to church wouldn't wear it to church, but if you want to, go ahead. There is no one stopping you. Okay, this next one is um, in Envy, and it is a very pretty blue color. Very pretty. Yes, I love this one too, because this one also goes with my ev everything that I'm wearing today, pretty much. And it's not too dark. It's like the perfect shade of blue to wear on your lips. It is awesome. It's like, it has sort of a purple undertone, I guess, when I'm looking at it. It could look purple, um, but in the right light, in, in a good light, it does obviously look blue on screen, so it could be either one. You could match this with a light, like, black liner or even a light purple eyeshadow, sorry, eyeshadow, and, um, or a blue eyeshadow or no eyeshadow and then just do, like, a blue liner. This It would look really pretty. So... And it's, again, it's very, they're all just very smooth, which is nice. And, where'd the other one go? Anyways, oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Um, anyways, it's very smooth putting it on. And this one feels like it could fall off, or not fall off, but come off on clothing. A little more than the last ones, but... It's okay. To have it on for a few hours is it totally works. Yeah, this one kind of does maybe stain the lips to be like a more purple color, which is okay, I guess. Because there are ways to have it come off. But yeah, this one does stain a little bit more. Now the last one. Yeah. The last one is called Cold Hearted. And it is not quite 
black. It's more of a silvery black. Like, not chrome. Just, it's just a silvery black. As you guys can tell, it is dark, but not too dark. It's like that perfect mix of if you want a dark look, but you don't want it to be like pitch black, this is the perfect lipstick. It is grayish black and silver and it it just looks awesome with literally anything you can put your hair up you can put your hair down you can wear you could wear black eyeliner or eye, eyeshadow if you wanted to you can make it a whole dark look if you wanted to you could keep it light like this where there's minimal makeup and then you just put the bold lip on or no eyeshadow with the bold lip on that's usually what I like to do is having no eyeshadow or very very light eyeshadow with a heavy lip. I love doing that because it, make, it brings more emphasis to the awesome lipstick that you have on. So I do love this color. This color is so great. It also makes my skin look tan which is always a nice thing. Um, makes my teeth look white, whiter than it is. And I just, I love this color. So that it was definitely a good buy. These are definitely worth the $6. I mean, the Stone Cold, the white one, mm, it was iffy. If I really wanted to put it over something, then maybe it'd be worth it. But not really, honestly. Not really digging it very much. Um, but the other five are amazing they are so pigmented and just you can wear them with with anything if you just put your mind to it and you just think about it, you can wear it with literally anything so and this last one is velvety but it doesn't feel like it's gonna come off and I could wear I could eat with it I could drink with it I could do anything with it and it it might come off but it wouldn't because I mean yeah it would come off but not not a lot and it's still on my lips so I mean I guess it would come off but not too much so if you're kissing somebody maybe it would be the best lipstick to wear but if you want to rock it go ahead you know there's nothing saying you can't Anyways, um, like I said, they are on Ulta.com or Nyx.com. Um, you can find these. And I think like I said that there's, I think there's 12. I think there's at least six more colors that I didn't buy. Because I just, I wouldn't, I wasn't going to wear them. There's no reason to buy lipsticks that you're just not going to wear. So I didn't get those ones, but they are on their website for $6 each, $5.99. So with tax, it would be $6.00. Or a little over six dollars um but they are definitely worth it i say this is an awesome buy for anyone who likes to be adventurous and rock other colors besides the traditional lipsticks uh yeah that's about it don't forget to subscribe down there to my channel if you like these types of videos i also do tags and first, I do Ipsy impression or first impressions or openings or depending on what I when I open it, I'll either do a review on it or I'll do an opening first impression type video. I'm going to actually be canceling my Ipsy for a few for probably like two months, so I can actually try Lip Monthly and see if I like them. Um, they're the same price, so I might cancel my Ipsy, or I might just keep it and just 
do one month of lip monthly and just to see what I like, if I like them or not. And then I'll be going back to Ipsy. I won't cancel them forever. I do love Ipsy. So I will still have my openings for you guys. I still have this month's opening. Probably not next month, but the month after I will have it back up for you guys. So I do the Ipsy openings and I do tags and I will do tutorials if you want them. Um, I can do tutorials on how to wear these lipsticks with other eye looks or whatever you guys want to see, let me know in the comments below. I will get them up as soon as I possibly can. So yeah, on that note, just don't let anybody tell you what you can't and cannot or can and cannot do. Be who you are. Love yourself. Don't forget that you are beautiful just the way you are. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.